Hey everybody, what's going on? It's Gabe and welcome to Life Mission Church. It is so good to be with you. And of course, we gotta say hello to Kansas City, Kansas. What's going on guys? Especially say hello to my friend Israel over there. And I wanna say hello to Ottawa and Olathe. It's good to be with you. And hey, we've got people watching at home. We got people watching maybe in the beach or the mountains might be all over the place. And I know that some of you, you've been on vacation, right? Like you've gone some places. I know that talking to some of you, some of you've been to like Colorado, you've been to the beach, maybe you've been to your cousin's house, your grandma's house, you've been traveling all over the place. Well, as I look, it's getting close to, uh, school's gonna be starting in the next few weeks. But anyway, hey, let's enjoy the last part of summer. Make sure you enjoy the nice weather. If you can, get outside and play because I'm telling you, school's gonna be starting soon. But I wanna ask you, what is the one thing that you want to do before the end of summer? Or what is the one thing that you have done that you're so excited about that you wanna tell everybody that you're like, did you know that I went here and that I got to do this and I saw them and it was incredible. Which one of those would you wanna say? Okay, so there's some interesting things that you've done this summer. I know for me, I didn't get to go on vacation. I wanted to go there, but my friends went there and I always was like, hey, can can I go with you? Oh, so if you are going somewhere, do you think I'd, can I fit in your bag? Maybe mom or dad wouldn't know if you like put me in the back of the car, I'd be real quiet. But like, if you can grab some chocolate or like a drink when you stop to get gas or something and just throw it back there, that would really help. Oh, okay, all right, all right, all right. So so let's get to it. I, I, wanna, I wanna ask you a question. I gotta look it up here, because, all right. Did you know, did you know, that the tallest person in the Bible is, I, I know what you're gonna say, but it's not that person. It's actually the king of Bashan. He was between 10 and 13 feet tall. Yeah, like 10 to 13 feet tall. Like, that's pretty tall. And then, okay, the person you were probably thinking about, Goliath. Yeah, that guy, you know, David and Goliath. Yeah. Um, he was about nine feet, nine inches tall. Like, okay, that's really tall. And the tallest guy that is recorded here in modern times, and, and we even have a picture of him. Yeah, th that guy. Yeah, his name's Robert Wadlow. Well, he was about eight feet, 11 inches tall. Yeah, that, that's pretty tall. Okay, and then another guy, you might have heard about him, LeBron James. Yeah, like him. Well, he's like six feet, eight inches tall. That's still pretty tall. The reason that I talk about that is that, you know, there's some things that are some different height. What about you? We've got some people here who are really tall, some are short. We got all kinds of different sizes of people. And there's some things that are higher than others. I want to tell you about a time, and it's something I will never forget. I got to ride in one of these. Yeah, a blimp. I got to ride in a blimp. Like, I got to sit right next to the pilot in the front seat, and we were in a blimp over the city. I will never forget it. And it felt like I was in a cardboard box, and we were zzzz, And you heard, by the way, it had like little motors. Zzzz. Can you make that noise? Zzzz. Yeah, that's what it sounded like. And we're in that, and all of a sudden, zzz, over the city, we're leaning like this. But I'll never forget it because I had a whole different view of the city. We went over the stadiums and they're so big, like they can fit 80,000 people. Well, they looked like they can maybe fit like four or five because you were so high up. And we saw buildings and I was trying, I don't know if we went by my house because we didn't go that far. I was like, I don't know, is that it? But I saw all these houses and apartments that were so big. But up from there, they looked smaller. But what I could see is that I could see really far away. Now, if I just stand here and look around, I don't know how far I can see. But when I am up higher, I can see the whole thing. So what are some things that you would say are pretty tall? Are there some things around you where you live or around where you go that maybe you would say, those are tall that I see? Or maybe there's some people, maybe I didn't mention somebody that is really tall. What is some things that you have around you that are higher? Okay, so there's a lot of different things that are higher, taller, shorter, and like I was saying, when you're up higher, you can see much farther. You can see everything. And it reminds me of a verse in the Bible, and it's in the book of Isaiah, and Isaiah is in 
the Old Testament. Remember in the Bible, you have the Old Testament and you have the New Testament. In the book of Isaiah, it says this, Isaiah 55, eight and nine. It says, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. Hmm. So when you hear that verse, what do you think it means that my thoughts are not your thoughts? And when you hear that verse, you think, what about your ways are not my way? And especially as we're talking about things being higher, my ways higher than your ways. What do you think and how does that apply to things being higher? Okay, so as we were talking about that verse in Isaiah, what were some of the things that you talked about or that you thought about when you heard that? You know, as we think about my thoughts are not your thoughts and your ways, my ways, and my ways are higher than your ways, you know that we're talking about God and about how his ways are much higher than our ways. And just how I was up in a blimp and maybe you've been on a ladder, you've been on top of a house or a big building, you've been downtown, that you could see much farther. And when you see higher, you could see how things are gonna go and farther away, where when you're down here, you can't see them. And that's something that I want us to remember as we look at our verse this month. First Chronicles 16, 11. How many of you had that memorized this month? Seek the Lord in his strength. Seek his presence continually. And that verse really applies to what we talked about in Isaiah. No, why? Because if we want to know what the Lord's ways are, how his ways are higher than our ways, how his thoughts are not like our thoughts. How can we, how can we get there where we can, you know what, what are the Lord's thoughts? What are the Lord's ways? And I want to have those thoughts and I want to go that way. Well, just like in 1 Chronicles 16, 11, seek the Lord in his strength, seek his presence continually. When we understand that, and when we seek after the Lord and seek after his presence, we can actually know more of his ways. We can actually see from a higher point of view. So how are you going to seek after the Lord? How are you going to seek after his strength and continue to seek after his presence? Oh, hey, um, I, I'm drawing a house. Have you ever drawn houses before? Like there, I got the house, I got the window. And there you go. You like my house? <laughs> well, that, that's, that's a house, right? But what if you were able to look at a house from a different perspective? What if you were able to look at something where, if you see that, that's only the front of the house. What about the sides or the back? You can't really see the whole picture, can you? Well, what if I were to draw a house in a whole different way? What if I were to draw a house to where maybe you can see the sides, where you can see the top, where you can see all of the different angles? Would that look different? Would that be something that you can maybe see more of the house? And if you had to choose between this house and this house, which one can you see more of? Well, it'd be this one. The reason is, is that it has a different perspective. It has a different way that we could see it. And just like how we've been talking about how God's ways are higher than our ways, and how when you are much higher, you can see farther and you can see the whole thing, God's perspective is much better than ours. Our perspective is just seeing this. This is just what's going on. This is just what we think. But yet when we are in our word, when we are in worship, when we are in prayer, that gets us closer to God. That gets us closer where we can see a different perspective and we can see much more. And as we might not know what's gonna happen or what's gonna go on, the main thing is, is that that helps us with our trust and how we can trust in the Lord. And another verse that we've had is trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path. And what's one way for us to trust in the Lord? is to know that he is much higher 
and as we seek the Lord and His presence and His strength, how much easier it makes us to trust in Him and know that His perspective is much higher.